Uh, so crowd is a general term. I mean, it's many, can be many things. Here, of course, it's obvious there are really very large crowds. But also, this is to explain that crowd can be also much less people, but we think it's crowd because it's crowded. For example, I come originally from Switzerland where we make ski. Of course, here you don't have ski in Georgia, Jakarta. But you can see, this is crowded because when you want to go on the slope, you don't like if there are so many people. So it's crowded too. Or here, for example, it's a crowdy. Or, or here, when you, people are waiting a long line, it's crowded too. They would think it's crowded. So, and you see, so crowded can be also context dependent. They can be also location dependent. I mean, in a swimming pool, this is crowded. Because when you go to a swimming pool, you don't like that there's so many people. But here, also, if you are in a in a elevator, it's crowded. But there are only perhaps yeah. ten or twelve people. But ten or twelve people in an elevator, it's a lot. Oh, here is a classroom, where it's also we say crowded. Or even here, in the telephone, the public telephone. You see, if you are four people, you can see. And it's also culture dependent. I mean, for example, if you go in some countries, they will say this is a bus, right?